Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to East Georgia State College. We are so excited you all are here with us tonight for the 2024 Miss East Georgia State College. I am so excited to be here with you tonight as your MC. Um, my name is Harley Smith, and I'm the Vice President of Institutional Advancement here at East Georgia State College, and I'm a past Miss East Georgia State College um, 2014, so it's been, I just realized it's been 10 years since I was crowned. I see Miss Vicki down here laughing. Miss Vicki Sheard used to be the director of the pageant whenever I was, I was in it, and she put so many years and hard work into that pageant, but it's really kind of made me feel old 10 years, <laughs> but the girls are, were laughing backstage about it. But it's so important, um, this pageant for these girls, to build these girls up, whether it's through the interview or through the on-stage portion. So I'm so happy that it's still going after all of these years. Last year, the college even celebrated its 50th anniversary. So we've had 50 queens in the past year. So that's so exciting to me. And I'm looking forward to an exciting evening tonight, which will end with the announcement of our new queen. So a new young lady is going to get to have the year of her life and represent our wonderful college here, East Georgia State College. Tonight, you will meet Miss East Georgia State College 2023, Miss Miriam Marlin, and five of our area's most dynamic young women competing for the scholarships and the exciting position of Miss East Georgia State College. In the opening inter introductions, you will hear the contestants speak about the platform they have chosen for tonight's competition. Community service is an important part of the Miss East Georgia State College pageant, and their platform will serve as their community service project if they were selected as the new queen. Miss EGSC should be well-spoken and a role model for young women, and through these platforms, they can be both of these things. So we want to invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy this evening's pageant. begin with contestant number one. Good evening everyone. My name is Jasmine Downing. I'm 20 years old from Little Wissy, Georgia. My Major is biology. My platform is helping marine life, and I plan on monitoring the beaches in Brunswick, Georgia. Thank you. Thank you, contestant number one, Jasmine Marie Downing. Up next, we have contestant number two. sharing the love of Christ. Thank you. And that's contestant number two, Marley Clark. Up next, we have contestant number three. everyone. My name is Elba Binguello. I'm your contestant number three. 
I am the 22-year-old daughter of Victor and Aurelia Pinuelo. I am a sophomore student majoring in natural science. My platform is filling the Ballcats pantry. I plan to get canned food donations to fill the pantry to our school to benefit our students. Thank you. That is contestant number three, Elba Buena. Up next, we have contestant number four. Contestant number four, Morgan Marie Coward. Up next, we have contestant number five. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. The 18-year-old daughter of Jill Atkinson and Lash Atkinson, I am, I am a freshman here at East Georgia State College and majoring in early childhood education. My platform is literacy and early education to encourage and assist literacy in elementary age students. I am your contestant number five, Lena K. Atkinson. That's contestant number five, Lena Atkinson. What a fantastic group, and we kind of threw them out here without even opening a number to go ahead and introduce their platform to you all tonight. So please give them another round of applause. Tonight, you will also see our contestants compete in evening gown and on stage question. Earlier today, the contestants had a one-on-one -on -one interview with the judges to allow them to get, the, to get to know the contestants a little better. The scores from their interview will be combined with the scores from tonight. The contestants who receive the highest interview score will receive a special award. Well, it wasn't long ago that our very own Miriam Marlin, Miss East Georgia State College 2023, was competing in these same phases of competition before she was crowned. Um, Miriam, if you're back there, if you will join me on stage. She has been an awesome representative this year. It has been a joy getting to know her, do events with her. Um, it's just been really a fun year. So she's going to come talk to us a little bit about her year. Come on up, Miriam. All right. Well, Miriam, you look gorgeous tonight. A quick outfit change. She's Thank really you. good at that. Anything I ask her to do, she just makes it happen. So she's she's been great this year. Miriam, they were just introducing their platforms. You had a really interesting platform during your year. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yes, ma'am. My platform was called Five Steps Ahead, and in that program, I was able to work with middle and high school students and get them to plan for their future college careers. Awesome. All right, and you also if you don't know Miriam, she enjoys dance, so she's been a dancer, and you also got to work with some students this summer with that as well. Yes, ma'am. We put on a dance routine. It was about summer school th during the summer, and they, got a, they had a good time. They put on little outfits that we um, ordered, and they performed in front of their parents at a big talent show. 
Awesome. And if you saw Miriam's video when you came in, all the pictures, um, she has been able to go and read to elementary and middle school kids this year. Um, and that is always a fun time. We get a lot of laughs from that. Um, speaking of your parts of the year, what's been your favorite part? I think my favorite part was back in September when we had the Family and Friends Fun Day. I got to meet so many little kids that came up and they were like, oh, she's a princess. And I made a lot of new friends on campus and it was a really fun event that day. Awesome. Well, tell us um, now that you have wrapped up your reign as Miss East Georgia, what is your future plans? Yes, ma'am. So I'm actually graduating in a few weeks in May and I'll be transferring to Georgia Southern where I'll be continuing my education in um, elementary education. And I'm very excited for that next August. Awesome. We're so excited for you. Is there anything else you want to tell us? I just want to say this year has went by in a flash. Um, I've enjoyed every single second of it. I wish I could stay, but um, all good things must come to an end, and I'm very grateful and blessed for this past year. Awesome, and I know we need to waste a few minutes because the girls are changing, and I'm going I'm to embarrass Miriam. She's going to turn red, but... Um, a lot of people ask me what makes a good queen or what makes a good representative of a school and I always say someone who can go with the flow and always have a smile and a positive attitude and um, that's really what Miriam's been this year anytime I've asked her to do something she's there with a smile on her face um, I'm gonna tell this embarrassing story on her we we both love Chick-fil-a if you're around us a lot we love Chick-fil-a and the Chick-fil-a truck comes to Swainsboro now and Miriam and I were out doing something, probably some pageant stuff, and I said, let's go to the Chick-fil-A truck. And if you know me, you know I have a fear of flat tires, which I don't know why it's a fear anymore because I get them all the time. Um, but Miriam and I turned into the Chick-fil-A parking lot, and my car said, you've got a flat tire. And I said, no, I probably don't. And um, I got out the car. We parked at the food truck, and I got out, and I had a flat tire, and Miriam stuck her little head out the window. She said, is it bad? And I said, well, <laughs> I said, it's it's flat, and we're, we're going to have to change it. And so I got back in the car, and I called somebody here from the school, and they were busy. They couldn't help us. So then I called my husband. He couldn't even come help us. Nobody could come help us. So finally we called this tire shop, and we, we got them, and they were on the way. And then I remembered I had my car full of scrapbooking paper because my mom had went to a, a garage sale, and a friend of ours loves to scrapbook, and my whole trunk was full of scrapbooking paper. And I don't know if y'all know how heavy that is, but it's very heavy. So Miriam and I unloaded scrapbooking paper out of my car in the parking lot, sweated down, but she never complained about it. And what she said when we got back in the car, she said, Miss Harley, you handled that so well. And I said, well, I've had a lot of experience with flat tires, but I said, you handled it even better because if she hadn't been there, I'd probably been in tears. But anything like that, she's willing to pick up a hand and help, whether it's tossing scrapbook paper out of the back of my car so we can get the spare tire out or whether it's riding in a parade in the rain. She's done that before, too, with the top back. So she's been a trooper this year, and I just want to thank her for everything she's done. So thank you, Miriam. Thank now you. You have experience with changing tires, riding in the rain, and you're, you're good to go. Yes, ma'am. We'll be seeing her in a little bit um, later in the pageant, but thank you, Miriam. Thank you. All right. Yes, give her a round of applause. Well, before we move into the evening gown um, phase of the competition, we want to meet two of our judges for tonight. They have the hardest job in here tonight, so let's go ahead and meet two of them, and then we'll meet our third judge a little bit later in the pageant. Our first judge is Miss Jessica Peebles. She has been in community relations representative with Pruitt Health Hospice for 13 years. She is also a Swainsboro Emanuel County Chamber board member and a member of the Swainsboro Rotary Club, where she served as president from 2021 to 2022. And she is a member of Swainsboro's Beta Sigma Phi Club. She enjoys spending time with her husband, Zach, and her two children, Blaine and Bailey. And if you haven't seen her, Bailey, she is precious in pageants, but please give Miss Jessica Peebles a big, warm East Georgia welcome. Our next, next judge is Mr. Kenny Griffin. Mr. Griffin is a veteran with the U.S. Army. After his time in the military, he began his career with Georgia Power Company, Plant Vogel Construction, and retired as the Swainsboro and Metter Local Office Manager in 2017. He is currently serving as pastor of Brandon Chapel United Methodist Church of Statesboro. 
His community involvement includes past president of Swainsboro Rotary Club, Swainsboro Emanuel County Chamber of Commerce, past president, Emanuel County Arts Chair Chairman, Sunshine House Board of Directors, and many, many more organizations. He is a busy man. He is married with his, to his wife, Jean, and they have two daughters who are both married, and they have five grandchildren. So please welcome Mr. Kenny Griffin. All right. Thank you both for being here tonight. Again, we will recognize Miss Allie in a little bit. We will now move into our elegant evening gown competition. This phase is designed for the contestant to make an on-stage statement of her compelling charm, presence, and personality. The evening gown should complement both the young lady's individual style and personality expressed in the total look. We will begin with contestant number one, Jasmine Marie Downing. Jasmine is the 20-year-old daughter of Jennifer Dowing. Jasmine is a freshman at East Georgia State College, and she plans to continue her education at the University of Georgia to study marine biology. Her goal of being a marine biologist helped influence her platform project. Through her platform, she wants to promote wildlife safety and education. This is contestant number one, Jasmine Marie Downing. Up next, we have contestant number two, Marley Clark. Marley is the 19-year-old daughter of Jessica Clark of Soberton, Georgia. She is a sophomore at EDSC, where she plans to get her Associates of Science degree before moving on to pursue her nursing nurse practitioner degree. One day, she would love to work in pediatrics. Marley says her favorite thing about East Georgia is the close-knit community. It gives her a sense of peace walking to class and having people know her name when she walks by. This is contestant number two, Marley Clark. Up next, we have contestant three, Elba Benuelo. Elba is the 22-year-old daughter of Victor and Aurelia Benuelo of Statesboro, Georgia. She is a sophomore pursuing an associate degree in natural sciences. After her time at East Georgia, she plans on getting her bachelor's degree from Georgia Southern University before, before applying to a pre-med program. It is her ultimate goal to become a transplant surgeon to help save the lives of others. Her favorite thing about East Georgia is the equality she feels while on campus. She feels included and, it, and her professors are excited to see her and help her succeed. This is contestant number three, Elba Benuelo. Contestant number four is Morgan Cowart. Morgan is the 19-year-old daughter of Rachel Calloway of Collins, Georgia. Morgan is a freshman pursuing an Associate of Science degree. After completing her degree at East Georgia, she plans to transfer to Georgia Southern University to obtain a bachelor's degree. Morgan's goal is to get her doctorate in veterinary medicine and open her own vet office in her hometown area. Morgan says she would like to be Miss East Georgia to be an ambassador of the college to communicate and promote the unlimited opportunities the college has to offer local people. This is contestant number four, Morgan Cowart.
We have contestant number five, Lena Atkinson. Lena is the 18-year-old daughter of Lash and Deal Atkinson of Metter, Georgia. Lena is a freshman at East Georgia, studying early childhood education. She chose to study education because she wants to be a teacher to help improve literacy rates in elementary age children. Lena would like to be Miss East Georgia State College to represent the college and to pr promote her platform of promoting literacy in elementary age children. This is contestant five, Lena Atkinson. What a beautiful group of young ladies. I love all the gorgeous gowns. All right. Well, at this time, I think we have a former Miss ECJC in the crowd, Miss Teresa Davis. I saw her with her crown on. I know she was running around helping. Is she out there? Oh, there she is. All right. Come on out, Miss Teresa. Well, thank you for helping us tonight, and always she always comes back every year, and she has her crown on. So I'm impressed that she's kept her sash and her crown this long. So thank you, Miss Teresa. All right. Well, it is time to introduce our final judge for the night, judge number three, and that is Miss Allie Griffiths. She is the current Miss Georgia volunteer. She's been very busy. If you follow her on social me media, you will notice that. She won the title along with the Lifestyle and Fitness in Swimsuit Award and $10,000 scholarship this past July. Allie obtained her Bachelor's of Science in Biology from Georgia Southern University in 2019. She completed her Master's in Biology last year while conducting cancer research at GSU. She held a lab instructor position for the Biology Department at Georgia Southern, and she plans on attending medical school in the near future. Allie enjoys reading mystery books, cooking new recipes she finds on Pinterest, and most of all, tap dancing. Allie's platform is Access Accessible Medicine Healthy Women. She is determined to give women the tools they need to reach empowerment and be educated on their health. In the past, Allie has received the Miss America Academic Award for having the highest GPA among the Miss Georgia contestants the Medical Studies Award, and was in the top five and named fourth runner-up to Miss Georgia. In June of this year, Allie will compete at the Miss Volunteer America competition in Jackson, Tennessee. She wishes the contestants the best of luck tonight. Please welcome Miss Allie Griffiths. And we would also like to wish you the best of luck on your big competition. Allie has a, a heart of gold, and as you can tell, she, her brain is bigger than her body. I mean, she's doing cancer research, and I'm like, Allie, how do you remember all this and do pageants? Um, we can't wait for you to be a doctor one day. I know you'll be wonderful. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you, judges, for being here with us tonight and taking time out of your busy schedules. At this time, if our contestants are ready, we will move on to our own stage question competition. Earlier this evening, the ladies took part in the interview portion of the competition. This, this is the part of the competition where the judges get to know our contestants, like we spoke about, and their community service projects. The interview portion counts for 30% of their total score, and with the on-stage question, it counts for 15%. And this will give you a glimpse at what those interviews looked like earlier today, and the questions will answer or the, excuse, excuse me, the contestants will answer a question the judges have selected for them. 
All right. And Miriam, our Miss East Georgia 2023, will help us with asking these questions. Begin with contestant number one, Jasmine Marie Downing. How would your friends best describe you? How would my friends best describe me? I think my friends would describe me as very dedicated when I'm going for a project or doing something that I am very passionate about. I give it my 110% until I feel that the job is done. That's contestant number one, Jasmine Marie Downing. Up next, we have contestant two, Marley Clark. Is social media positive or negative and why? Is social media positive or negative and why? Is social media bad? I believe social media is because it gives us false judgments on what females or other people should look like according to what they see on social media. That is contestant number two, Marley Clark. Up next, we have contestant three, Elba Benuelo. If you could change one thing about East Georgia State College, what would it be and why? If you could change one thing about East Georgia State College, what would it be and why? I will change tuition costs. <laughs> Many of us can't not afford college. That is contestant number three, Elba Benuelo. <laughs> Up next, we have contestant number four, Morgan Cowart. What is your favorite thing about East Georgia State College and why? What is your favorite thing about East Georgia State College and why? My favorite thing about East Georgia State College is the small classes, so then the professors can spend more time with you one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you. This is contestant number four, Morgan Cowart. Next, we have contestant five, Lena Atkinson. Why do you want to be the next Miss East Georgia State College? Why do you want to be the next Miss East Georgia State College? I would like to be the next Miss, Miss East Georgia State College because it would be an honor to represent my school and community. Thank you. That is contestant five, Lena Atkinson. 
Great job, ladies. Please give them another round of applause. Thank you, Miriam. All right. Well, thank you to our judges, our auditors, and volunteer staff for helping us tonight. The pageant would not be possible without the many volunteers that take their time and um, spend it on this organization, this pageant. Many hours go into making this pageant possible, and we could not do it without the, these people we're about to thank. Um, there are many people backstage. I know I'm probably going to forget somebody, but I do want to thank the pageant committee. Um, there is a committee that puts this pageant on every year, plans it, works together on it. So I do want to thank them. Um, they're all backstage, so I won't ask them to come out. I don't want to, I know they're helping the girls, calming nerves and everything, but that committee really does a lot um, with this pageant. Also, the East Georgia State College IT department, Alex up there in the booth tonight, and his, his helpers, um, they always help go above and beyond to help us. And our plant operations staff, making sure our building's clean and the stage and the lights are prepared and ready. Um, and also our SGA members. This pageant is part of our SGA. So, Jalen, will you stand up over there and wave? This is Jalen. He's the president of our Student Government Association here. So he's helping us out tonight. He's there whenever we need something to call him. So thank you, Jalen, for being here tonight. And any other SGA members, I think there might have been one backstage. So thank you to them for helping us tonight and supporting these young ladies. All right. Winning tonight will open many doors for one lucky young woman. She will serve the college and college community by volunteering and promoting their, her personal platform. She will share her talent and beauty with us as she serves as Miss East Georgia State College 2024. One young lady who has done a great job of this over the past year is Miriam Marlin, our 2023 Miss EGSC. We would love to invite her back for her farewell walk. A year ago was one of the most magical nights ever. I was crowned Miss East Georgia State College 2020. She may need a few minutes. So I will go ahead and do the rest of my thank yous while we're, I, I bragged on her for being so fast at changing and then I rushed her. But I do want to thank, um, you will see the gorgeous Queen's flowers tonight, Miriam's flowers. All of these flowers were donated by Mr. Jim Roberts at Southern Traditions Floral and Gifts. He has done this for us the past few years, and he always goes above and beyond to make sure we have gorgeous flowers for our girls. So we want to thank him for always doing that for us. And I also want to um, thank the Institutional Advancement staff. Um, Casey Fountain, who's around taking pictures, Diana Cochran, who's helping um, tonight with the judges, and Courtney Patterson, who's around, who works in our, our legal office. They have all pitched in um, with the pageant committee and helped make this possible. And Ms. Jonna Eaton, who's backstage, stick your head out and wave. I always make you do this. Um, she always goes above and beyond of helping with music and the girls backstage, making sure everything's organized and running smoothly. So I can't go without thanking her. And also our auditors, Mr. Mike Roundtree and Ms. Sarah Young, I want to thank y'all for all, um, always coming and taking your time to do this for us. So um, thank you so much. But please give all of our volunteers a round of applause. All right, Miriam's ready. So now we will welcome our 2023 Miss East Georgia State College back to the stage for her farewell walk. A year ago was one of the most magical nights ever. I was crowned Miss East Georgia State College 2023. This past year has been an amazing experience and one that I will never forget. This year was full of unforgettable memories and bonds that I will treasure forever. There are so many individuals that made this journey all the while for me, and I would not be where I am today without them. To Ms. Harley, thank you for all of your mentoring, encouragement, and kindness, for all of your advice, and for, of course, making East Georgia as amazing as it is. To the community at East Georgia State College, thank you for welcoming me in from day one with open arms. I am grateful to have been able to represent this special place and further my education here. To my mom, dad, and family, thank you for your never-ending support and guidance. 
It truly does take a village, and I appreciate more than ever your love and for always being my number one fans in whatever that may be. I love y'all. To God for always having me covered and blessing me with his favor and everlasting love. I wouldn't have anything if it wasn't from him. To all of the beautiful contestants tonight, you are all winners. Hold your head high as you are God's child and wear an invisible crown. Psalms 139.14 says, I will praise thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made, marvelous are thy works, and that my soul is very well. Remember that in everything you do. To the new Miss East Georgia State College, don't blink, it goes by in a flash. Carry this title with grace, take in and enjoy every moment. Your life is about to change in a few moments and you are so deserving. It has been an incredible year and I'm so blessed to have had this opportunity. Thank you, East Georgia State College, for this amazing experience. Sincerely, Miriam Imani Marlin, your Miss East Georgia State College 2023. Thank you, Miriam, for your service this year. You have been wonderful, and we will definitely miss you, but we'll still call her back to volunteer every now and then. <laughs> she can count on that. All right. Let's see. Okay. Well, auditor, or the auditors have already given us the results backstage, so we are ready to welcome back our 2024 Miss East Georgia State College contestants for crowning. East Georgia State College. She will not only win an EGSC scholarship, but she will assume the responsibility of being a role model and leader in our area. She has an amazing year in front of her. I do want to give a few reminders. Um, if we ask everyone to please stay off the stage until we get all of the school's pictures done. There's a few we have to take with our judges. Judges, if you'll come up immediately after crowning, only the parents of the new queen on stage for a moment, and then we'll um, allow everybody else to come up. And girls, please stay on stage for a group picture as well. But we will let you get pictures with your friends and family, we promise. All right. Well, if we're ready, are we ready, girls? Ready? Okay. All right. We will begin with the interview award winner. This is the contestant who had the highest score in interview. The award goes to Marley Clark. Marley, please step forward. our first runner-up, Miss Lena Atkinson. If you will please step up for Miriam to come up and give you your award. All right, congratulations. in the moment we've all been waiting for. We're so excited for our year with this next young lady. Our 2024 Miss East Georgia State College is Marley Clark. Standing right, and as you get your sack. 
Ash on, Miss East Georgia, if you will take your first walk. You there she is, your 2024 Miss East Georgia State College. All right, thank you all for being here with us tonight, and congratulations to Marley. We look forward to the year ahead of you. Please, everyone, be safe going home tonight. We'll get a few pictures, and then the girls will be releasing you all. Thank you so much.